Hey guys, Volgarbal Travel here, and I just want to do a quick video and show you guys my new personal travel handbag. Um, or I guess my personal item handbag that I'm planning to use as my personal item handbag. And it is called the Bays. I believe they pronounce it Bays. I'm not sure. B-E-I-S. It'll be on the screen of this video. Um, mini convertible weekender. This is it. This is what it looks like opened. And I will show you what it looks like uh, inside and walk you through all aspects of the bag in this video and let you know what I think of it um, and how I'm going to use it in my upcoming travels. So I'm gonna show you the bag and everything it comes with. And it comes with a shoulder strap, uh, which you can put on the bag. It has two loops here and here, and you can put the shoulder straps on the bag like so. And you can also keep it with the shoulder straps on or take it off. I really like that it comes with shoulder straps because as a woman over 50, I don't really like carrying bags like so. So I really like having a bag that I can put across my body in a cross body style or I can put on my shoulders. And these shoulder straps are nice and deep enough that I can actually put this on my shoulder. Another feature that I really like is the front pocket where you can just pop your face mask, you can pop your passport in here. And when you're going through security, I do recommend keeping your passport in the front pocket. But then otherwise I would say to put your passport inside of the bag because you don't wanna get it stolen. And pickpockets abound in airports and other places. So I would just say, Keep your passport in here while you are going through security and then pop it inside. Now, another feature on this bag that I really like a lot is this pocket back here. So this pocket has a zipper and right here and you can open it up and then just slip this over the um, handle of your roller carry-on bag. So it's easy to move it around in the airport that way. Um, and I really like that a lot. So, and if you don't want to use it that way, then you can just close this up and this is an extra pocket for you to use. So that's a pretty cool feature of the bag. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. So let's take a quick look at the inside of this bag, which is the best thing about it. So you can see here, it's pretty deep. And this is the mini. There's also a regular weekender and it's pretty massive. I don't think you could use it as a personal uh, item bag. You would have to use it as a carry-on. So that's why I opted for the mini. And even the mini you see is a pretty good size and it's pretty deep. So you can fit a lot of stuff in here. I would probably put some of my toiletry items, probably extra um, uh, compression, a smaller compression. Uh, bag with some clothes would go in here. But one of the things I really love is this that comes with the bag. You can put your laptop in here. It's a laptop bag. And so you can open it up. I have a couple things in here. Take those out. But you can slip your laptop right in here. And you can even put the, you know, the, the plug for your laptop. I have a Mac slip that in here and you put your Mac. I did check it does fit the Mac. And then you can slide it back into the inside pocket of the bag. So it goes right in here, which is pretty cool. And it actually does fit. So it's a really cool feature. Just to show you how it works with my actual computer. Here's my computer and slipping it in there, strapping it in, it fits. See that? It's a really great feature of this bag. So another great thing about this bag is in addition to this laptop um, bag and the pocket for it, there's another whole set of pockets in here. So there's another set of pockets right here and there are additional pockets on the other side that you can slide things into. I actually have some more um, mass that I put in there. I will actually put these in the front pocket. Um, but I'm always stashing face masks because I don't like to go anywhere without them. Um, so 
you can put those on a pocket and you still have a lot of deep space inside the bag for other items. So like I said, I would probably put my headphones, um, an extra compression bag with clothing, um, scarf, uh, my iPad, my, you know, keyboard for my iPad, which I'm going to show you guys in separate videos, really cool new keyboard, my camera, electronic items. I'll probably use this bag for those things. Um, and then everything else will go into my carry on. And I've shared lots of videos about how I pack my carry on. And I will put a link into the description of this video so that you can connect to those videos to see what I put in my uh, Kipling carry on bag when I travel. Um, but I really like the size of this bag. And the last thing I'm going to show you on the bag, which is pretty cool, is this bottom section, which you can use or not use. I haven't yet decided whether or not I'm going to use it on my upcoming trip. I'm going to be in Africa for about six to seven weeks, and I haven't decided yet because one thing I will say is if you use the bag with this uh, convertible um, storage area in it, on some flights, you may not be able to get it under the seat and you might have to sneak it into the upper compartment if you don't want them. And you, you know, when you do that, sometimes they might try to make you check one of your bags. So um, in Southwest, I was able to slide it like so and get it under the seat. I could also put it in this way, but I did it this way and got it under the seat. Um, but if I don't need this part, I probably will not bring it but I haven't yet decided. Once I figure out what I'm taking with me on that trip, and I'll do a video about that, so don't worry about that, I will decide whether I'm gonna take this. But what I'm gonna show you next is how this bottom piece works. Putting it on and off, this is the convertible section of the bag. It comes with little feet on the bottom and it has a zip here that you can take it off and put it back on. So I'm gonna show you guys now how to deal with this section of the bag. So I'm gonna show you guys how this works. So basically, what I found is taking it off is easy, putting it back on is not that easy. So basically to open it up, you just zip all the way around and you take it off. And you can just disconnect this piece, which I'm not gonna do, because it's kind of a pain to put it back on. Um, but it'll show you what the bottom looks like. So right here, you can see there is a bottom section hi guys where you can store additional items i think this is super cool if you need it for that purpose right so this whole part here you can store additional items in here and you can definitely fit like i, I could fit like two pairs of shoes in here and a small compression cube right in the bottom of this bag right so if i needed to bring this that's what i would do with it but like i said on some flights if I have stuff in here, I might not be able to fit this under the seat. While if I don't have this section, I can definitely fit this bag under this, any seat in an airplane. But if I keep this section, I may not be able to. So one of the things I'm thinking about doing is sticking this into my Kipling and using it as a compression storage area in my Kipling and so that I have it with me on the trip in case I wanna use it and then using one less um, compression bag and stashing a compression bag inside of here, right? But I haven't decided yet. Once I figure out what I'm taking, then I will decide that. But I would say this is a pretty cool um, feature of this bag and I really like it, but I will say taking it off and pu putting it back on when you take it completely off can be a bit of a pain. You kind of have to take your time to slide um, the zipper piece right here back in and that was a pain to do so i'm not going to do it right now on camera it's not hard but it's you have to like sit with it and do it so i'm not going to do that now but you can take this whole piece off and pack it up and then zip it back on which is what i'm doing here or if you don't need it you can completely remove it and just use the top part as your personal bag and like i said depending on the size of the flight i think on Larger flights, you're not gonna have a problem sliding this under the seat. If you do what I do, which is I usually buy an economy premium or upgrade to an economy premium seat, you'll probably be able to fit this under the seat in front of you. Um, if you're in business class, it's not gonna be a problem. 
Uh, but if you're in the back of the plane or you're in one of the really discounted seats that are really close to each other in the back of the plane, if you are on an international flight and you can't stretch your legs, that could be very uncomfortable. So you might reconsider if you want to keep this part, if you don't absolutely need it and just use the upper part of the bag. That way you can slide it on the seat and still have space for your legs. Uh, on shorter flights, it might not matter as much, but when you're on a longer flight, like from JFK to Senegal, for example, you want all the leg room you can get. You don't want to be like not being able to even put your feet um, out in front of you because your bag is taking up all the room under the seat. So that's just something to be aware of and think about. But overall, I like this bag. I, I, I'm glad I got it. I, you know, I like it so far. I'll be able to give you more feedback after I've actually used it more. I only used it once so far when I just got it to bring it back. I just stashed um, my uh, Louis Vuitton carry-all bag. It actually fits inside of this bag. I just slipped it in there and then I just carried this onto the plane and it worked fine. But it wasn't packed, packed the way it would be packed for a trip, like my upcoming trip to Africa. And I have some weekend um, jaunts around Mexico that I'm getting ready to do. And I will probably use this bag so that I can give you guys more feedback later about how it works out. I may use it with or without the bottom and give you guys feedback. I have a weekend trip coming up that I think I'm just going to use this bag alone for the trip with a personal, uh, probably my carry-all or my Neverfull and see how that works for the weekend. And I'll let you guys know how that goes. But so far, I think it's a great bag for what it costs. I thought it was worth it. I think it was $108. Dollars USD. Um, I think I'm going to get good use out of it. It's black. It matches my Kipling bag pretty well. So between the two bags, I think it'll be a really good addition for my team tra carry on travels. Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscription button. And please do give me feedback. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. I will drop descriptions and links um, to the bag so that you can get one of your own if that's what you would like to do. Thanks for watching this video. See you guys in the next one.